welcome back so I just wanted to share with you some polishes that I picked up from the dollar store and I've mentioned it before it's called Broadway nails and it's hard to see on this black one so let me grab the pink one that I just got uh, Broadway nails and it's one dollar at the dollar store and I've talked about the black before it's called blackout number 59 and it stamps really really good and it's very opaque it's actually more opaque than my OPI black polish so I really enjoy it a lot and so I went ahead and picked up a second bottle of that black so I can use it for stamping um, but I saw some other colors so I grabbed them just to see if they would work for stamping as well because it's nice to have polishes that do good for stamping and I found a white which I was very curious to see how opaque that would be and if it would work for stamping because I am almost out of my Conad white which is my favorite I have a bundle monster white which is a stamping polish but I don't really love it so it's definitely not as opaque as my Conad so I'm kinda looking for something comparable to that I don't think this is gonna be it but I picked it up to try anyways and they also have um, on this line of Broadway uh, nails they have this one's called gel strong and it's two dollars which is still a great price and it's called sparkling stone and it's so so pretty I don't have a color like this in my collection so I grabbed it just for that um, this is definitely not gonna work for stamping I did a swatch stick of it this is three coats and it was very sheer okay focus um, it was very sheer I put a black and a white stripe on the back to see what it would look like um, but after like the third coat it got pretty opaque but it's definitely not gonna work for stamping purposes but just a polish alone it's absolutely stunning so I do really like that but I'm gonna use that as one of my swatch sticks to see if these other colors will stamp so let's get started Test these out. I am just going to use one of my Uber Chic plates. This is my Zombie Love plate. I have not used this enough this year. I only got to use it for one Manny, and I'm so bummed out that I didn't use it more. So I'm going to use it to swatch because why not? So let me just show you real quick the colors that I picked up and the names of them. This is a beautiful, like, bubblegum pink color. It's called Jenny's Pout. And the number on it is number 44. And this really beautiful lilac y pastel purple. This one's called Easter Annie. And it's number 43. And then I picked up this green because I don't have a, a green stamping polish that, that works very well. And this one is called Central Park, number 39. And then this gorgeous dark vampy purple I don't even it's so pretty it's like a really dark maroonish color um, it's called chocoholic number 49 and in the bottle just does not do it justice it is so gorgeous love this color I really like these dark colors and then of course I grab the white which is called snow white number 60 okay so I'm gonna tell you right now like when I did my swatch sticks this green is two coats and it's still streaky. It was pretty sheer. I don't think it's going to stamp. The purple and pink look promising and the white, I think maybe it's going to be okay too. Um, I'm going to try to stamp them over black and white. And this is the swatch for the Chocolaholic. And it is so dark that it's showing up almost black on my camera here. But it's obviously not going to stamp over black, but I will try it over white. And I think it's going to be gorgeous. So without further ado let's start stamping here with this um this zombie love image right here and i'm going to use the chocolaholic and i'm going to do it over white i hope this color is showing up on camera as it is in person because it's so pretty guys there it looks really red on the plate and it looks really red on the stamper but I think it's gonna stamp really good 
Ooh, yeah, okay. It doesn't translate red onto the white, so that's good. I thought it was going to be too light, but it is a really, like, maroonish color. Oh, would you focus, camera? <laughs> it hates me late at night. There we go. Look at that color. That's stamped wonderfully. I like that a lot. That's very exciting. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a black swatch stick here and try the white because I'm dying to see if this white is going to work. It's nice and thick. It's not as milky as I thought it was going to be, but I don't know how opaque it's going to be for stamping. I really think I'm going to have to buy another Conad because I really like it. Yeah, this doesn't look... I don't know. I've been surprised before. So let's see. Stamp's pretty good. Um, it almost looks silvery. Um, it's not a bright, bright white. Like, when I use my Conad, it's bright, bright white. And that's what I'm looking for in a white stamping polish. But this will work. And it, it works great for a stamping polish. So, yeah, it's just not super bright white. But there's that one. Go ahead and do the green one next. I'm going to do that over white. Um, I don't know about this one. I hope it works. Because I was looking for, like, a true green for, like, Christmas time. And I haven't found a good green stamping polish, period. Um, as far as a non stamping polish to use as a stamping polish if that makes any sense. So this one looks like it's going to be pretty light. It does work, but it almost shows up neon, which is definitely not what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, that's really not going to work great for what I wanted it for. Um, but it does stamp. It's very pale. And it looks neonish. I really want a deep dark, like forest green, or like like a true grass green kind of a green. Um, but and this looks like it would be in the bottle. But it it did take this is two coats to get it to this point, and it's still a little uh, um, streaky. So background ground noise. If you can hear my little one. She's uh, going to town playing, so. <laughs> okay, so next I want to try this pink one. Jenny's Pout. So pretty. This is what it looks like swatched on a stick here. It's two coats. And one coat was almost opaque, so I have high hopes for this. So I'm going to swatch this over white and black and pray for the best. Nice and thick. It's a good polish. And I forgot to clean off my stamper, so that's not good. But there we go. So this one is kind of like the green as far as stamping goes. It looks almost um, neon, but it does stamp, but it just, it's very pale. I'm a little disappointed. I was, I thought that one was going to work really good, but it doesn't. Okay, moving on black anyways just to see I'm gonna try just to stamp half of the stick so I can try the purple over black too so I'm just gonna do the bottom part and no that does not show up over black uh, definitely not pink and I don't even think you're gonna be able to see that on camera let's see there's you can kind of see it Almost a dark gray is what it's looking like. Yep, that does not work over black. Okay, moving on. Try the purple next. This is such a pretty purple. Looks really light though. Very light. Um, we're going to do this over white. Yep, so 
again this is not going to be a great stamping polish it's very sheer looking um, not as opaque as I would like it does show up but yeah that's just not gonna do the job for me all right so we're gonna try that over the other half of this black one that I have the pink one on but I think it's gonna be the same result as the pink one it's just too too sheer do this over the top half here actually shows up just a tiny bit better than the pink the pink is down here the purples up top but yeah it's it's definitely not purple on black um I want to try over this one here this sparkly brownish one um, the chocolateholic just want to see how that looks because I don't think that's gonna work over black but maybe over a nice dark brown might be pretty cool looking Boy, my camera is just hates me tonight. This one is so opaque. Ooh, oh, that looks good. And if we can get it to focus. Yep, that shows up pretty good. I wouldn't go much darker than that as a base color for it, though, because it is a nice dark polish. I don't think it's going to show up, but that's really cool. Very pretty. Comparison purposes, I want to stamp with my Conad. Just to show you what I'm talking about, if you don't know already, which you probably do, that's okay. That is an opaque white. messed up my swatch okay see that that's what I'm looking for <laughs> so good okay, so that's it that's uh, my little review for this polish um, the black is wonderful I use it all the time um, it's just as good as my bundle monster black the white is not unfortunately this is the white here um, yeah that's a bummer but it does um, go on as a base color pretty nice. Um, two coats, completely opaque. It's a very nice white. Um, pink, same story. Very beautiful for the base. Not good for stamping. Same with the purple. Green, sheer for a base. Take, I would say I would take at least three coats for this green. It is a pretty color, but yep, this one I'm in love with. This is my favorite. This is the Chocolaholic. Gorgeous base color. Wonderful for stamping. And that is on this one here and this one here. Yep. Yeah. So, and this is the Conad white. This is what I'm looking for in a, in a white polish. It needs to go over black, completely opaque. That's what I want. So, if anybody has any suggestions for a white stamping polish that is budget friendly, Conad is very expensive. I believe this tiny bottle here, which is not even a half an ounce, it's 11 mil, it says was like eight dollars or something that's pretty expensive but it's the best one <laughs> that i've used anyways um so yeah if anybody knows of a good stamping polish uh that's white that's nice and opaque and is pretty cheap let me know i would love to hear suggestions and if you guys have a dollar store near you i would definitely check these out they're beautiful polishes um and some of them work for stamping the black is great so, yep, that's it for this video. I hope you guys uh, found it helpful and enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.